so and let us start quantum chemistry okay your paper 5.1 uh, quantum chemistry aram kurim kinu tar agote duta man kotha mo kur tumalokor third semot third semot kichu man kotha mo discuss kurisu eti mote jene black body division uh, bohr's model of atom e bor kotha ami discuss kurisu but before going into quantum chemistry, so you do one thing, okay? You just write uh, what we have done in same tree. I mean, same tree, jikini kuri su, jikini bostu, to me, bhalke ekhon buhit lihi lua. Starting from jitu par ami arambo kuri su alu. Agnum structure of atom, structure of atom mod ami aram pokuri silu, tarpora aram pokuri, gute hini kotha palke, ekon buhit, lihilva. Hm. Aru amar quantum chemistry gute hini bostu, ekon pepper, ekon buhit jate, take, then eke aram pokura. Hm. So, moeveru olopman kotha monopelidisu. Hm. So, you know, in third sem, we discussed about the structure of atom. Atom contains electrons, protons, and neutrons. And the question was how they are arranged inside the atom. That was the question. How electrons, protons, and neutrons are arranged inside the atom. That was the question. <laughs> so regarding that, the first model was given by Thomson and Thomson's model is known as plum pudding model okay so according to him Thomson the atom was a ball of positive charges and inside this ball electrons are embedded that was Thomson's idea we call it Thomson's model but that model was proved to be wrong by Rutherford in 1910. Okay, you know Rutherford did an experiment called Rutherford's experiment on scattering of alpha particles. By, by doing that experiment, uh, he came to know that the Thomson's model of atom is not correct. Rather, rather the atom has a nucleus inside it. And the nucleus contains all the positive charges and mass of the atom. Okay. And what is the Rutherford's model of atom that was given in 1911? Rutherford's model is that the atom contains a nucleus. Nucleus contains all the positive charges and mass of the atom. And the electrons rotate around the nucleus. Okay. That was... Rutherford's idea, Rutherford's model. But Rutherford's model is also not correct because it does not give a stable atom. Okay? So the next model of atom was given by Niels Bohr in 1913. Niels Bohr. And Bohr's model of atom is based on Planck's quantum concept. Okay? I repeat. Bohr's model is based on Planck's quantum concept. Okay, so before going into Bohr's model of atom, we have to understand a little bit about quantum concept. Okay, I repeat. So before going into Bohr's model of atom, we have to understand what quantum theory is. We have to understand that. Okay. So, but before going into quantum theory, we have to know about something about classical physics, okay? So, for, for Bohr's model, for Bohr's model, we have to know quantum theory. We have to know quantum theory, okay? Or quantum concept. But before going into quantum theory, we have to know something about classical physics okay 
so we discussed about all these things i remember we discussed about all these things but let me remind you just to re uh, remind you what classical physics is it is basically the theories laws etc in physics developed before 1900 before 1900 all the theories laws developed before 1900 are included in classical physics so there are so many theories and laws newton's laws kepler's laws laws of electricity and magnetism thermodynamics and so on there are so many theories and laws okay and one such theory is maxwell's theory of electromagnetic radiation maxwell's theory of electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation okay this is also classical physics this is also classical physics so according to maxwell how light travels light travels in the form of wave light travels in the form of wave and what is the name of this wave the name of this wave is electromagnetic wave okay name of this wave is electromagnetic wave this wave does not require any medium sound wave sound travels as wave but sound wave requires medium normally medium is air okay that is sound wave but electromagnetic wave it does not require any medium suppose light is moving in this direction says so this is the x direction okay this is the x direction light is moving in x direction so this light it has two components this is a z axis this is y axis this is z axis this is y axis so it has two components one is one is electric field component say electric field component it is like this say say like this so this wave is in say z x plane this is z x plane this z x plane so this wave this is a electromagnetic component electromagnet this is a electric electric field component this is a electric field component and this is say in the z x plane so in a perpendicular plane suppose in x y plane okay in xy plane what which is the xy plane this is the xy plane this is the xy plane this is the xy plane in the xy, XY plane there is another component another component like this another component like this okay so this red color this is this component say this is the magnetic component and this magnetic component is in the xy plane so there are two components one is green one green one is say electric field component and a red one red one is a magnetic field component and these two components are present in two mutually perpendicular planes one say in the zx plane the other is say in the xy planes so since light is going this way okay light is going this way so it has two components electric component and magnetic component therefore it is called electromagnetic wave light is electromagnetic wave and you know wave has wavelength you know all these things you you know frequency it has frequency wavelength frequency and you know nu equal to c by lambda or c equal to nu into lambda you know all these things so then another thing is that is called wave number wave number which is symbol is this nu bar that is equal to 1 by lambda 
okay you know so with n wave all these quantities are there lambda frequency um, wave number all these quantities are there with with wave okay so you know this so we have discussed about all these things and uh, say you know you also know that there are different types of radiations okay there are different types of electromagnetic radiation like radio wave radio wave microwave microwave ir okay visible uv x-ray gamma ray and so on so there are different types of electromagnetic radiation as you move from left to right lambda lambda decreases lambda decreases okay or lambda decreases means frequency frequency increases frequency increases in this direction in this direction lambda decreases wavelength decreases frequency increases in this direction okay from radio wave to say gamma ray lambda decreases wavelength decreases and this so and then we have seen that uh, we have also discussed one particular color one particular color means one wavelength say red color red color red color means wavelength is lambda is nearly 720 nanometer but you remember if wavelength is 720 nanometer we will see it red but if, if it is 17 nanometer then also we will see it red because our eye, eyes cannot defense it distinguish similarly say uh, yellow yellow say wavelength is 589 nanometer again if it is 580 then also we will see it wave our eyes cannot defense it okay however one particular color means one wavelength and so on violet violet means say wavelength is nearly 400 nanometer okay now if it is 390 nanometer we'll see it violet okay so this is classical physics okay now by the end of 1900 by the end of 1900 many people many people began to think that development of science is complete was complete okay that everything was known there was nothing to be nothing new to be known some people thought like that by 1900 and at the same time some experiments were discovered some experiments were discovered just like black body radiation photoelectric effect etc black body radiation photoelectric effect etc these were discovered okay and while studying say this experiment while studying say this experiment some results were obtained okay says by studying photoelectric effect some results were obtained okay but those results cannot be explained by using the theories laws of classical physics so that was the problem i repeat say for example this experiment black body radiation this experiment was discovered and by studying this experiment some results were obtained okay some results were obtained now using the theories laws of classical physics we cannot explain why those particular results are obtained 
okay that means classical physics has got some limitations okay because using the theories and laws of classical physics we cannot explain the results of black body radiation so classical physics has got some limitations inadequacies limitations means inadequacies okay therefore planck introduced quantum theory okay i repeat the results of black body radiation cannot be explained by using classical physics so planck in 1901 introduced quantum theory to explain the results of black body radiation okay so we have already discussed about black body radiation i'll just remind you okay what black body radiation is i'll just remind you hmm moi matro alokman monot pelai ni i will i will not do the calculations once again because it is there with you okay so now what is a black body black body is any any apparatus any any container any container any ship any ship black body is any container any ship okay it has a small hole say there is a small hole okay there is a small hole there is a small hole and a beam of light is entering through this hole this is a hole okay beam of light is entering through this hole and some portion of the radiation will be absorbed here remaining portion will be reflected like this okay again some portion will be absorbed again remaining will be reflected again absorbed again reflected again absorbed again reflected and so on so in this way in this way almost all the radiations will be absorbed by this body hmm it will be absorbed here 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 okay so in this way almost all the radiation entering will be absorbed by the body so it is a it is called a black body so what is a black body which can absorb almost all the radiation falling on it okay body which can absorb almost all the radiation falling on it that is a that is called a black body okay and after absorbing radiation it will emit the same it will emit the same okay it will emit the same it will absorb korar pichot jiman khini radiation means energy radiation means energy jiman khini radiation by energy absorb kore hi khini emit koribo so after absorbing it will emit the same so radiation emitted by the black body radiation emitted by the black body is called the black body radiation now this radiation was studied by different scientists different scientists say say first say in 1859 karchof karchof studied karchof karchof okay what he observed he observed that a black body is a good absorber a black body is a good absorber and at the same time it is a good emitter okay that was his first observation black body is a good absorber it is a good absorber at the same time at the same time it is a good emitter emitter okay that is obvious the more it absorbs the more it will emit okay so it is a good absorber at the same time it is good emitter then what is his second observation radiation emitted by the black body radiation emitted by the black body 
does not depend on the nature of the black body. Radiation emitted by the black body does not depend on the nature of the black body. But it depends on the temperature. But it depends on the temperature to which the black body is raised. Okay? That was his second observation. Okay? Then radiation emitted by the black body Radiation emitted by the black body depends on depends on temperature, temperature of the black body, but not on the nature of the black body. Okay? Black body to ki here bono se he black or put depend on kore. Kyo put depend kore? Temperature of kore. Okay? That was Kirchhoff's observation. Then in 1884, 1884. Stephen, Stephen, okay, what he observed, he experimentally observed, he experimentally observed that energy, energy of radiation emitted, energy of radiation emitted, 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 in unit volume of space in unit volume of space due to due to all wavelengths all wavelengths is proportional to is proportional to force power Fourth power of the absolute temperature. Fourth power of the absolute temperature of the black body. Okay? Energy of radiation emitted in unit volume of space due to all wavelengths is proportional to the fourth power of the absolute temperature of the black body. This is known as Stephen's fourth power law. Or we can write E is proportional to T to the power 4. From this, E is equal to sigma to T to the power 4. Sigma, that is called the Stephen's constant. Stephen's constant. Okay. This is Stephen's fourth power law. Okay. And this was experimentally observed this was experimentally observed by stephen okay <clears throat> then now what do we mean what do we mean by this due to all wavelengths because black body is emitting radiation emitting radiation there will be so many wavelengths say lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 and so on there will be so many wavelengths. Not one wavelength. There will be so many wavelengths. Okay? So, due to all wavelengths. Next, next question was, how energy is distributed among different wavelengths? That was the question. How energy, this energy, energy, energy of the radiation, how energy of the radiation is distributed? How energy is distributed among different different wavelengths? That was the question. That means so many wavelengths are there. Which wavelength will have how much energy? Which wavelength will have how much energy? That was the question. How energy is distributed among different wavelengths? So in order to answer this question, different scientists try. First, Wynn. Wynn in 1893. Okay. He used thermodynamics. He used thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. And using thermodynamics, 
he deduced a relation between energy and lambda energy and lambda and his relation is like this a lambda to the power minus 5 e to the power minus b by lambda t b by lambda t a and b are constant okay this is wind formula what does this symbol mean what does this symbol means this is the energy emitted within wavelength range lambda to lambda plus d lambda energy emitted within the wavelength range lambda to lambda plus d lambda this is the symbol this symbol means that okay this was wind's formula and this was derived deduced using thermodynamics then two scientists rally and jeans rally jeans okay in 1900 they used principle of equipartition of energy principle of equipartition of energy and by using that relation principle of equipartition of energy using that relation really using that relation they deduced another formula the formula is this e lambda d lambda equal to 8 pi k t lambda to the power minus 4 d lambda this was the, this uh, this was the two relations but here you see from wind's formula from wind's formula what you get say if lambda tends to uh, temperature if temperature tends to infinity from wind's formula from from wind's formula you see here say temperature tends to infinity so 1 by infinity 1 by infinity equal to 0 okay e to the power 0 equal to 1 that means energy becomes finite when temperature tends to infinity energy becomes finite finite okay now this is against stefan's law because you see e is the proportional to t to the power 4 okay e is proportional to t to the power 4 if temperature approaches infinity energy also should approach infinity okay so wind's formula is not correct because as temperature tends to infinity energy becomes finite which is against stefan's fourth power law and this law was deduced by doing experiment okay similarly in relativity formula you relativity formula you see you see say so when lambda tends to zero when lambda tends to zero so you see this is 1 by <coughs> 1 by lambda to the power 4 lambda to the power minus 4 lambda to the power minus 4 means 1 by lambda to the power 4 so <coughs> so when lambda tends to 0 1 by lambda 1 by 0 that means infinity so energy becomes infinity energy back becomes infinity okay lambda to the power minus 4 that means 1 by lambda to the power 4 so when lambda tends to 0 1 by 0 infinity 1 by 0 infinity okay so what we find this is also impossible energy cannot be infinity and this is known as ultra violet catastrophe ultra violet catastrophe catastrophe ultra violet catastrophe lambda tends to zero energy tends to infinity this is known as ultra violet catastrophe
ओके सो यू सी दीज टू फॉर्मुली दिस वॉज डिड्यूस्ड बाय यूजिंग थर्मोडाइनामिक्स विच इज क्लासिकल फिजिक्स दिस वॉज डिड्यूस्ड यूजिंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इक्विपार्टिशन ऑफ एनर्जी विच इज अगेन थर्मो क्लासिकल फिजिक्स सो क्लासिकल फिजिक्स does not give the exact picture exact picture besides besides let me tell you another thing during 1893 during 1893 to 1900 okay lumar and pringsheim lumar and pringsheim they carried out a series of experiments they carried out a series of experiments and what is the experiment say so this is a black this is the black body say so radiation is coming out different wavelengths radiation is coming out there are different wavelengths then say one prism is kept here okay what does the prism do it separates the it separates the different wavelengths okay it separates the different wavelengths so after passing through this we will get different wavelengths say lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 etc okay so this is the black body it is at a definite temperature black body at a definite temperature it is emitting radiation Radi radiation is allowed to pass through prism and prism will separate the different wavelengths different wavelengths different wavelengths okay now energy with each wavelength was measured energy with each wavelength was measured measured and graph was drawn graph was drawn between energy and lambda energy and lambda so at some temperature the graph was like this at some temperature the graph was say at t1 temperature at t1 temperature the graph is, the graph is like this say at some higher temperature at some higher temperature say the graph is like this say so this is a t2 temperature which is greater than t1 okay graph is like this so this type of graph was obtained by lumar and pingsheng and these graphs these graphs are obtained by doing experiments kada e graph bilak je paise ए ग्राफ बिलाक परीक्षा कोई पुआ कोई से, ओके? By doing experiment, these graphs are obtained. So let me draw it like this. So this is the graph, ओके? Okay. Energy versus lambda. So this is the graph से. This is the experimental graph से. This is the experimental graph से. At some temperature. This is the experimental graph at some temperature. At temperature, say T. Okay. Now, using Wien's formula, using Wien's formula, we can draw graph. Using Wien's formula, we can draw graph. We can put different values of lambda. Then we will get different values of energy. Similarly. Using Rayleigh's formula, also we can put different values of lambda. We will get different values of energy. So by using Wien's formula, we can draw graph between energy and lambda. Similarly, using Rayleigh's formula, we can draw graph between energy and lambda. And if we draw graph, we will find that we will find that. Rayleigh's formula is somewhat applicable. Rayleigh's formula is somewhat applicable in the longer wavelength region. Okay, longer wavelength region. 
रियलिज फर्मूला लंगार वेब लैंग इन दि लंगार वेब लैंग रिजियन इट इज सामवाट एप्लीकेबल बट इन दि शर्टार वेब लैंग रिजियन इट इज नट एप्लीकेबल बिकज इट गोज लाइक दिस बिकज उव हेव सीन उव हेव सीन वेन लैमडा टेन्स टू जिरो एनार्जी टेन्स टू इनफिनिटी उव हेव सीन दिस ओके सो दिस सिमिलरली यूजिंग उन्स फर्मूला इफ उ ड्र ए ग्राफ using wins formula if we draw a graph the graph will be like this the graph will be like this wins formula wins formula so neither religion's formula nor wins formula can give the experimental graph so wins formula by religion's formula kono to amak a experimental graph blue one experimental graph dal nidiye so neither religion's formula nor wins formula can explain the experimental observation of black body radiation okay and then planks so planks introduced his quantum theory in 1901 Planck introduces quantum theory. Okay, so what did Planck say? There are some oscillators. There are some oscillators along the wall of the black body. Okay, we have already discussed. And oscillators. These are nothing but atoms, atoms or electrons. Okay, so Planck called them oscillators. Okay. But oscillators is are basically atoms. Eh? You can say atoms. Okay. So these oscillators, these oscillators do not absorb arbitrary amount of energy. So first Planck said that there are some oscillators along the wall of the black body. Then he said, number two, number two point. Then he said. these oscillators do not absorb arbitrary amounts of energy the oscillators will absorb energy this this energy or this energy or this energy or this energy and so on and so on that means in integral multiples of this integral multiples of this 1e e, Two epsilon, three epsilon, four epsilon, and so on. They do not absorb. They do not absorb or emit arbitrary amount of energy. Now, according to classical physics, these oscillators can absorb, absorb or emit any any amount of energy. Classical physics or not, the oscillator would be z kuno polymer t. शोषण निर्गत पारे दे कैन एबजर्व एनी एनी एमाउंट अफ एनार्जी बट वट दस प्लांग से नो दे कैन नट एबजर्व आर्बिट्रि एमाउंट अफ एनार्जी और दे कैन नट एमिट आर्बिट्रि एमाउंट अफ एनार्जी दे कैन एबजर्व आईडार डिस एनार्जी और जिरो एनार्जी देट मीनस नो एनार्जी इज एबजर्व सो नो एनार्जी इज एमिटेड the oscillator can absorb this much energy that means this much energy will be emitted or oscillator will absorb this much energy or this much energy in this form we say that the oscillators absorb or emit energy in quanta oscillators absorb or emit energy Emit energy in quanta. In quanta, okay. Absorb for you. Quanta means like this, like this. And what is epsilon? Epsilon equal to h nu. H nu. Okay. That means actually, what is this? 
energy of an oscillator is proportional to frequency. Energy of an oscillator is proportional to frequency. That means energy is equal to this, where h is the Planck's constant. Okay. So that was Planck's idea. And using that, this idea, he deduced a relation between energy and wavelength. Energy and wavelength. So we have already discussed about the deduction of energy. So I am not going to deduce again all the uh, I am not going to do all the calculations once again. Okay. So just let me tell you how the expression was deduced. Just let me give you an idea. So first what is assumed? Say there are there is a um, n not number of oscillators, each having energy, each absorbing energy, each having energy zero, n one number of oscillators, each having energy epsilon, n two number of oscillators, each having energy two epsilon, and so on. So, what is the total number of oscillator? Total number of oscillator equal to n naught, n one, n two, and so on, and so on. And here, Boltzmann relation is used. What is Boltzmann relation? Boltzmann relation is n one equal to n naught e to the power minus epsilon by k t, or n two, n two equal to n naught e to the power minus 2 epsilon by kt and so on. Then what is the total energy emitted? What is the total energy emitted? There are n not number of oscillators, each having energy 0. n1 number of oscillators, each having energy epsilon. n2 number of oscillators, each having energy this. So this like this. So this, and in this way, average energy was calculated, and ultimately we got uh, Planck's formula. And what is Planck's formula? E lambda d lambda equal to E lambda d lambda equal to eight pi h c divided by lambda to the power five, lambda to the power five. 1 by e to the power hc by lambda kt hc by lambda kt minus 1 minus 1 d lambda so this was the relation this was the relation between energy and lambda okay this relation was deduced by Planck and we have already done the deduction so I am not going to repeat it. Okay. Now we can prove we can prove that Quinn's formula and religion's formula are special cases. Hmm. That means at say at say uh, when lambda is small when lambda is small lambda is small. No? What do we get? We get Wynn's formula. And when when lambda is small, lambda is small means this is small. This is small. This is small means this is big. This is big. Okay? This is big. So this is big means this is big. So in that case, we can neglect one. We can neglect one. So what do we get? We will get E lambda D lambda equal to 8 pi H C lambda to the power minus 5 E to the power minus H C by lambda K T D lambda. So we are getting we are basically getting this is constant A and H C by uh, k h c by k this is again constant okay so we are getting Quinn's formula 
Now, when lambda is greater, when lambda is greater, is big. Okay? So, lambda greater, that means this is smaller. So, this is smaller. Then we cannot neglect one. We cannot neglect one. So, we have to expand it. And in this way, we can deduce uh, religion's formula also. So, we have already done this. So, I am not going to repeat that. Okay. Muthote holgi, the ami praman kuribo paru, the wind's formula and religion's formula are two special cases of Planck's formula. That's what we can prove. We can prove. Because when lambda is small, we get Wind's formula. When lambda is big, we get religion's formula. Okay, so Wind's formula and religion's formula are two special cases of Planck's formula. Second thing is that using Planck's formula, using Planck's formula, we can plot, we can plot energy versus lambda. Using Planck's formula, we can plot energy versus lambda and then we will get the experimental curve. We will get the experimental curve. That means Planck's formula gives the experimental graph experimental graph so Planck's formula is successful in explaining the results of black body radiation I repeat using Planck's formula we get the experimental graph that means Planck's formula is successful in explaining the results of black body radiations but religion's formula wind's formula they are not able to explain the results of black body radiation okay so this we have already done okay now next let us solve some problems okay let us solve some problems number one problem is that show that let me see the problem let me write the problem for you So that the wavelength, the wavelength corresponding, corresponding to the, to the maximum energy, maximum energy is inversely inversely proportional inversely proportional to the absolute temperature absolute temperature okay this is the problem and we are to solve it okay this is the problem and we are to solve it. So, what do you see here? The wavelength corresponding to the maximum energy. So, if you see the graph here, see the graph here. This is the maximum energy. This is the maximum energy. So, wavelength, wavelength, wavelength corresponding to the maximum energy. That we may call lambda max. maximum energy wavelength so this is called the lambda max so lambda max we have to prove that lambda max is inversely proportional to absolute temperature now from Planck's formula we have to do this so let us write the Planck's formula okay Planck's formula is say we can write it like this here we have here we have E lambda D lambda equal to this into D lambda. So we can neglect this. D lambda D lambda we can neglect. So we can write. We can write. E lambda equal to A. 
8 pi hc lambda to the power minus 5 then 1 by h to the power hc by lambda kt minus 1 this is the relation now we are to find out maximum energy so here energy is a function of lambda that means energy depends on lambda energy depends on lambda similarly say y is a function of x that means y depends on x okay jodi so, y to maximum hobolage ba minimum hobolage amar condition to ki dy dx must be zero dy dx jodi zero hoye then y may be maximum okay similarly energy is a function of lambda so for maximum energy de by d lambda must be zero so we are differentiated with respect to lambda so let us do that so if we do this de lambda d lambda what we get 8 8 8 pi hc this is constant constant okay now first function second function first function function second function d dx of first function into second function plus d uh, first function into d dx of second function so what do you do d dx of this and then minus 5 by lambda to the word 6 okay lambda to the word 6 okay then 1 by e to the power hc by lambda kt minus 1 plus 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 then lambda to the power minus 5 first function into d dx of this okay d dx of this equal to say this is minus 1 if we think to be x 1 by x if we think this to be x so d dx of 1 by x that is e to the power hc by lambda kt minus 1 whole square okay x to the power minus 1 ma jodi ekhinik x kuli tholu ekhinik jodi ma x kuli tholu so 1 by x e to the power no, 1 by x tamne x to the power minus 1 kore d dx of x to the power minus 1 tamne eto hobo d dx of x to the power minus 1 into d dx of this into d dx of this kore he to kiman hobo eto hobo hc by kt kt okay into minus 1 by lambda square into e to the power hc by lambda kt okay so it will be this okay sir so profound amic equal to d dx of this d dx of this money ki a to x a to x then x to the power minus 1 x to the minus 1 money key this will be minus 1 into this square x square that was a d dx of this d dx of this means d dx of e to the power x d dx of e to the power x equal to e to the power x d dx of e to the power x equal to e to the power x into d dx of this into d dx of this okay d dx of this equal to hc by kt constant okay minus 1 by lambda square so we are getting this so this is equal to just to simplify 8 pi hc 8 pi hc um, i can take this common okay uh, what I can take common? Mm, 
lambda to be y lambda to be y minus 5 I can take common 1 by e to be y hc by lambda kt minus 1 I can take common then anything else no so what I can do this is minus um, minus um, minus how much it will remain 5 5 by lambda 5 by lambda uh, this is this is minus then this is minus 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 plus so this is plus plus then this will be 1 by e to the power hc by lambda kt minus 1 minus 1 into uh, hc by kt lambda square lambda square e to the power hc by lambda kt okay lambda kt so we are getting this we are getting this okay all right so we are getting this lambda kt okay since this is equal to zero since this is equal to zero so either this is zero or this is zero but this will be zero when lambda is zero this is not possible so what we do so we write uh, minus 5 by lambda plus 1 by 1 by e to the power hc by lambda kt minus 1 hc by kt lambda square lambda square e to the power hc by lambda kt that must be equal to zero okay that must be equal to zero so we are getting this we are getting this now now um, all all we can write it like this or we can write it like this minus five plus five equal to one by one by e to the power h c by lambda k t minus one h c by k t this will be lambda okay lambda lambda cancels lambda lambda squared cancels so e to the power h c by lambda k t so we can write like this now if so you see so energy will be maximum when lambda becomes smaller okay so energy so if here you see at smaller as you as energy is increased as energy is increased as energy is increased as energy is increased lambda becomes smaller energy more energy more okay lambda becomes smaller you see so lambda becomes smaller that means uh, when lambda is small lambda is small is small small then hc by lambda kt is very very greater than one very very greater than one so from this what we get 5 equal to 1 by e to the power hc by lambda kt we can neglect one we can neglect one so this is hc by kt lambda e to the power hc by lambda kt so this cancels so what is lambda 
lambda means this is lambda max maximum energy energy is minimized zero okay so maximum energy lambda max maximum energy wavelength corresponds to lambda max this will do 5 uh, sorry hc 5 kt hc by 5 kt okay hc by 5 kt so h constant c constant k constant okay that is that is lambda max lambda max is inversely proportional to t so we are getting this this is one important for solving problems this will be required okay we can solve like this next let us see another problem second problem so that so that d uh, total energy total energy of all radiation from the black body from the black body is proportional is proportional to the fourth power fourth power of the absolute temperature absolute temperature of the black body that is this is basically stefan's law total energy proportional to absolute temperature that is basically stefan's law we have to prove that e is proportional to t to the power 4 okay again we will start from uh, planck's law we will start from planck's law so we have already written planck's law in this we have theology in Planck's law in this, okay? So, answer. So, again, E lambda D lambda equal to E pi H C lambda to the power 5 1 by E to the power H C by lambda K T minus 1 D lambda, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we have to find out the total energy. Total energy means we have to integrate this. We have to do the integration because we have to find out the total energy. What is this energy? This is the energy within the wavelength range, within the wavelength range lambda to lambda plus d lambda. This is the energy within the wavelength range, this lambda to lambda plus d lambda. But we have to consider all the wavelengths. That means we have to integrate it. We have to integrate with respect to lambda. So for doing the integration, let us do some substitution. Let us use this. Let us use this. Say x. x equal to hc by lambda kt. Lambda kt. Okay. So, so from this dx will be equal to dx will be equal to minus hc by lambda square kt d lambda lambda square kt d lambda and we are taking the positive value we are taking the positive value because we want to know the amount of energy we are not interested in sign so we will write this lambda square kt d lambda we will write this okay uh, okay now so let us do the integration let us do the integration mm. so this is wait one second one second now you see the uh, while okay um, Let us do the substitution. 
now e x dx we are doing this substitution okay now uh, x x is equal to this h c by lambda kt so lambda is equal to lambda is equal to h c by x kt h c by x kt so 8 pi h c by h c by x kt whole to power 5 whole to power 5 okay over 5 then uh, 1 by e e to power x e to power x minus 1 okay then d lambda what is the value of d lambda value of d lambda is h c by lambda square kt d lambda oh, sorry. Uh, lambda square kt by value of d lambda value of d lambda will be value of d lambda will be lambda square kt by hc dx lambda square kt by hc dx lambda square lambda square kt by hc dx okay mm. lambda square kt uh, lambda square d lambda equal to d lambda So just uh, simplifying eight pi HC X DX D lambda DX equal to this D lambda. If by uh, HC, if by HC, by uh, HC fewer five, fewer five, X KT. We were five one by e to the x minus one lambda square lambda square kt by h c dx dx Yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry, I have committed mistakes. Uh, I am to replace this lambda uh, 8 pi hc hc over 5 x kt by 5 1 by e to the power x minus 1. Then that is lambda. Uh, what is lambda? Lambda equal to h c by x k t. Lambda equal to h c by x k t. Uh, h c square lambda square lambda square to h x k t square 
kt by hc dx okay so this now hc then hc hc uh, hc so this will be 8 pi 8 pi then hc this is hc hc so this will be hc cube hc cube okay this will be hc cube then kt 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 square kt kt River four kt 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 square to four then this is x5 x square so this is x cube one by e to your x minus one okay dx so it will be this okay or this is equal to eight by k to the power 4 hc q hc q hc q t to the power 4 t to the power 4 x q x q e to the power x minus 1 dx okay now we are to do the integration okay now we are to do the integration so if we do the integration, we will get the value of energy. And integration earlier, earlier limit of length, earlier limit of lambda. Limit of lambda was limit of lambda was from zero to zero to infinity. Limit of lambda is zero to infinity. So what will be the limit of x? Lambda is zero x will be infinity okay so lambda is infinity x will be zero earlier limit of integration was zero to infinity when we use lambda when we use lambda the limit was from zero to infinity now if we use x the limit will be from infinity to zero limit will be from infinity to zero hmm. So it will be from infinity to zero. Infinity to zero. So this will be a pi k to the power of four h c cube t to the power of four x cube e to the power x minus one dx. So this is constant. So we can write the integration here. We can write the integration here infinity to zero because this is constant okay now since we are interested in energy only since we are interested in energy only so we can roughly write it like this okay we can write write it like this 8 pi k to the power 4 h c cube t to the power 4 0 to infinity x cube e to the power x minus 1 dx or, or we can also do it like this say it was minus say it was minus dx it was minus okay minus so if we write minus here so if we write minus here minus this okay minus this minus this minus this minus if we add minus here minus this okay if we add minus this and we reverse the integral limit it will be plus okay now this is value of this integration value of this integration is uh, pi to the power 4 by 15 value of this is equal to pi to the power 4 by 15 this is standard integration standard integration so we can write 8 pi k to the power 4 pi to the power 4 15 15 
एट से क्यू टी टू पावर फोर ओके दिस नाउ हियर के बोल्समैन कांस्टेंट एच कांस्टेंट सी कांस्टेंट सो दिस इक्वल टू कांस्टेंट कांस्टेंट इनटू टी टू पावर फोर दैट मींस e equal to e is proportional to t to the power four. This proved. Okay. So this is basically Stephen's law. So another two three examples. Uh, one example. Let us see. Uh, <coughs> uh, the temperature. The temperature of the fireball fireball in thermonuclear thermonuclear explosion explosion can reach a temperature of about Ten to power seven Kelvin. What value of lambda max does this temperature correspond to? Okay. So that means uh, when Nuclear bomb is explode uh, exploded. When nuclear bomb is exploded, water uh, water goes up in the form of a, a ball, in the form of a ball. Fire fire goes up like this. So this is fire ball. Okay, temperature of the fire ball is this much. So what is the value of lambda max? What is the Value of lambda max corresponding to this temperature. So already we have done. So this relation we have found out. We have we have found out this relation. Lambda max equal to lambda lambda max equal to h c by five k t. Okay. So so from this what is the value of lambda we can find out because we know value of h planck's constant we know value of c velocity of light boltzmann constant we know temperature is given so everything is known so we can calculate lambda no problem so we can do it well so this finishes uh, black body radiation experiment next we will discuss about uh, photoelectric effect, then Compton effect, and so on. Thank you.